This is 7 National News. In our top story this evening, the Gulf region is at the forefront of the safety and securities industry with an annual budget of 1 billion US dollars. This is projected to grow at 10% annually, according to industry insiders, at this year's Intersect Trade Fair and Conference. His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum inaugurated the event today, which will highlight key safety concerns in the region and will provide a platform for industry experts to focus on homeland commercial security as well as fire and rescue operations. Different departments, as you see, the human resource, the forensics, okay, the Department of Airport Security, the human resource, and all uh, making support centers. Different departments to show them what exactly Dubai police are, different decisions. And we try every year of our uh, this, in this uh, intersect event to change, not to bring, because there is a lot of companies that are available and what we are concentrating this year in the forensic laboratory side much more uh, than it and we see also we uh, also looking at the other companies what new there and what they have from the police we will be there the representative of the department so they can exchange the experience Featuring 911 exhibitors, Intersec will showcase a series of tactical rescues and close combat operations, revealing real-life scenarios across the fields of rescue, counter-terror and law enforcement. My company came from Italy. We work uh, a lot with Middle East, uh, especially in uh, Iraq, uh, Iran, um, and Saudi Arabia and Turkey. We have also a branch office in Turkey and uh, is a very big market, huge market for safety and security products. Intersect this year is fantastic. We've, uh, we've had to book another hall to uh, accommodate all the additional companies. Uh, this year we have 911 exhibitors from 52 countries, so you can see a very, very international exposure. The Middle East is a very attractive market and uh, Intersect brings the visitors from all the Middle Eastern countries and partially Africa as well. So it's fairly simple for an international company to uh, reach their customers or, uh, in fact, new customers. Uh, they don't have to travel to all the surrounding countries. They can come to Dubai and they will really uh, see whoever matters in the uh, security industry. The construction of a strategic highway between Wana and Angur Ada in South Waziristan, Pakistan, will be funded by the UAE through the Khalifa bin Zayed Foundation. Funding of the 50-kilometer road was instructed by the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. According to Abdullah Al Ghafli, director of the UAE project to assist Pakistan, the 38 million US dollar Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan Wana Angur Ada highway will be completed by the beginning of 2013. An agreement on the construction of the highway was signed by the management of UAE PAP and Pakistani authorities during the ceremony in Islamabad. In a presentation on the UAE's efforts for Pakistan, Abdullah Al Ghafli noted that UAE's PAP, along with infrastructure development, is constructing 51 projects, including 41 schools, 10 institutes, and colleges. World leaders, international agencies, sustainability advocates and global heads will convene in Abu Dhabi tomorrow for the World Future Energy Summit 2012. Now in its fifth year, the summit will run from January 16th until the 19th and is the world's foremost annual meeting committed to, pro to promoting rather advancement of future energy technologies, including renewable energy, energy efficiency and water and waste management by engaging political, business and industry leaders to drive innovation and investment opportunities in response to the growing need for sustainable energy. Built around the theme Powering Sustainable Innovation, keynote addresses for the opening ceremony will include speeches from His Excellency Ban Ki-moon, Secretary General of the United Nations, and His Excellency Nasser Abdulaziz Al Nasser, President of the United Nations General Assembly. Up next, we have the day's business news for you, so stay with us.